All right, welcome back, everybody. The Pan-African Business Forum is a platform for Africans from all over the continent, regardless of race, tribe, gender, or religion, to come together to make a difference. The forum is a private initiative to increase the socio-economic development of the continent through a combination of carefully considered programs and projects that are developed both by Africans locally and out of the continent. Now, the aim is to challenge African governments to strive to develop their countries while discouraging corruption and nepotism. Joining us now is the CEO and the chairperson of the Pan-African Business Forum. And I'm talking about Ladislas Prosper Agbesi. It's good to have you. Welcome to Morning Live. Thank you. Welcome to Thanks. see you. It's a great pleasure to see you. Thank you very, very much for being here. Uh, give us a bit of a background on, on the Pan-African Business Forum. Uh, when was it established? Why was, was it established? Uh, basically, uh, you know, the Pan-African Business Forum is... Uh, as the initiative of, of uh, like-minded uh, African from a certain kind of uh, underprivileged uh, background uh, in 1999, 2000, that uh, the, the scope of the development of this continent must come into a for if it come to for us to set up uh, a very extensive uh, uh, coalition for the reinforcement of investment for the, co the continent, especially creating an enabled environment for the direct foreign investment and the socio-economic development for this, our continent, their continent. Mm -hmm. And all this can be done through certain kind of uh, two advocacy uh, policies and uh, investment ground. These are the issues we look at in our continent, seeing that uh, only we as a youth coming together, creating this kind of environment to activate the foreign direct investment to enable a socio-economic development for our continent. A and the aim, Let, let's talk about the broader aims of, this, of, this, uh, of the, the, the Pan-African Business Forum. We have uh, uh, two advocacy policies. Uh, the first one is, uh, the af advocacy policies is uh, to strive into setting kind of uh, 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 reforms in all con in the continents, uh, reforms into uh, government reform in terms of uh, attracting more uh, investment in the country, supporting education drive, supporting uh, where there's a conflict and resolution, try to support uh, anything to do the food securities. And we do those things in, a par uh, in partnership with certain kind of agencies where we invite them through seminars and, and play a, gr a greater role in terms of uh, reforms in certain kind of countries. Hence our participation in many of activities in the African Union, European Union, so a certain kind of aspect of it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, it's it's quite interesting because I know that one of the one of the, the the activities that the forum is very very much so involved in is lobbying for a better environment for businesses to operate in, um, and I think a lot of people do get nervous operating within the African continent. What is it the forum does? Now, basically, we we enforce certain kind of reforms in the in the in the betterness of this continent. Wherever we see there's a gap, we come in and we, we, we participate in it, we support it uh, through talking to the government uh, stakeholders, private sector, and uh, multinationals. Uh, and we play that kind of role in terms of uh, how we lobby into them. In the case of uh, African Union, where constant uh, damage has become uh, a, a kind of uh, a, uh, uh, become uh, 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 essential issues for the African Union, where we have to sit down and meet with a uh, government institution, multilateral, and discuss with them the benefit why this thing had to be done. And uh, the group has been very. Uh, uh, creative, very uh, aggressive in terms of achieving those kind of results. Even uh, the UNICEF, the lady who has been appointed uh, Pan-African Business Forum, have played a greater role. We work mm -hmm. with uh, agencies, African Un uh, European Union, United Nations. We have partners over there. We work together in terms of uh, building up uh, the, the betterness of the socio-economic development of our continent, their continent, Africa. Yeah. We cannot achieve that. Uh, you see, if you look at uh, what the the trend the continent is going through since the last five or six years. If we don't come into it uh, as a private sector to play a greater role and we leave it only in the hands of the politicians, we think that uh, there must be kind of a, a combination, harmonization between the private sector and the, gov uh, the government yeah. to drive uh, a betterness of this our continent. Yeah. yeah. Quite Quite interesting, I'm having a look here, that it, it says that the forum engages in two separate lines of activity. Uh, firstly, the police advocacy, and then African Investment Fund. T 
tell me about these activities. The, the activities is uh, uh, the, the policy uh, uh, advocacy is uh, what I just uh, spoke about earlier on. Mm -hmm. Is the uh, a framing in any any areas where there can be sort of reform. We work with the judiciaries, the financial sectors. We look at uh, a very enable uh, uh, at, uh, environment where we can uh, accelerate the growth of the development, the DFI direct foreign investment for, for government. So we, we come with through seminars. We analyze the, the scope of uh, development policies, the very good investment uh, policies in the country, and we look at it how those, those ones can benefit local and uh, a, a foreign direct investment. And uh, that's why we sit down with uh, the stakeholders, the government, and we send our team there, we discuss with them, we found the, the, the seminars, we found this research, and we put it on the table, we support them. That's what yeah. we do, yeah. yeah. I know that, 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 that the forum was very instrumental in carrying the mobilization of, um, of the South African and Angolan communities. How is that going? Basically, to come to that, what, uh, what has informed Pan-African Business Forum to involve into the policies of South Africa is by the good, the good news of uh, the 20th achievement of South Africa. If you look at a, 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 a country like South Africa yeah. with the ANC, with the tripartite alliances, achieving a greater result from uh, a, a junk a state of, uh, 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 of, uh, of a standard import BB for, for South Africa in 1994 and from 135 for uh, uh, GDP. And today we are at uh, 123 uh, billion GDP in uh, 20 years. I think uh, th that is uh, a great achievement for, the, for uh, uh, ANC, led by three party alliances of uh, COSATU and SACP. Mm -hmm. And if you look at within that 20 years of uh, achievement, you see that uh, 58,000 new classroom has been built. You have uh, 18,000 uh, cleanings who has been built in this country. You have uh, uh, 17,000 uh, uh, provincial roads who has been rehabilitated, and you have uh, close to 7,000 national roads who has been done, and you have the SASA, who was uh, uh, the, uh, the social ground, which have increased to 16 million. Yeah. It's the only country where people get a free uh, a social ground. And you look at also uh, access to uh, 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 water, which is cl uh, close to 79% in the, in the country of, uh, within 20 years. And you have the water assessment of 83%. And uh, if you look at where the ANC of the tripartite alliances come from, you look at it's a dual economy. Yeah. Before yeah. 1994, we are having a one economy called uh, a national uh, NP which was uh, with uh, a, a minority population with a developing economy, where the, 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 uh, the majority were in the developing economy, a junk down a Djibouti economy, born than Niger. And after 1994, ANC with the three-party talents combined that uh, economy together, which became yeah. a dual economy, harmonized economy, and become the strongest one at this time. So right. it informed Pan-African Business Forum that uh, this is a place for we African to make our hope into ANC that uh, we have to participate into it. And the okay. response was uh, very great, where we call the embassies all, in right. all over at mm. uh, Sheraton. We have 47 embassies from uh, all over, which responded that. to that. Yeah. All right, yeah. we have to unfortunately leave it there, but I think you've given us a great indication of what the forum is actually doing. That was the chairman and the CEO of the Pan-Africa Business Forum, Ladislas Prosper Agbesi, giving us more insights on what the forum is all about. Now, the Pan-African Business Forum is organizing an event aimed at mobilizing the African diaspora living in South Africa, and the event will be aimed at mobilizing South African naturalized by informing them of their right to register to vote in the upcoming elections on the 7th of May, 2014. So again, thank you very much. Keep up that good work. All right, let's take a break. We'll be with you after this. Stay tuned.